Jim Haney, the Executive Director of the National Association of Basketball Coaches, dreamed of launching a ministry that would support coaches spiritually and professionally. It would pour back in their marriages and they would help them with mentoring or care development of student athletes. He understood and knew the power of a coach and also the influence that they have not only in the world of just basketball, but ultimately of the world. Mr. Haney understood why basketball is invented and his ultimate desire was to take the game back. Dr. James Naismith was a Bible teacher and a PE teacher at the YMCA. In 1891, they came to James and they said, James, we've got to have something for the young men to do in the wintertime. And James began to pray and said, God, give me something that will bring young men to you. And he invented the game of basketball. I think if a young coach came, or any coach came to me and said he was thinking about getting involved with Nations of Coaches, I'd tell him it's one of the most important things he could possibly do. Uh, Nations of Coaches uh, gives you that spiritual balance so you don't put winning and losing above uh, family and everyday life. And, uh, and that's what it's, uh, it's extremely beneficial, not just for me, but for my staff and, uh, and for a lot of young coaches that are, that are constantly uh, in, in the unfortunate, uh, the one negative thing about our profession, which is the constant turnover, moving, uprooting a family, losing your job, you know, things of that nature, and uh, their support is incredible. Today, we feel like to the degree we've lost our way. And today we're using sometimes young men and women to win games, to put up banners, to get trophies, maybe to get larger contracts. But our vision at Nations of Coaches is to take the game back. See, we want to come in and we want to serve a coach spiritually and professionally. We want to pour in their lives, whether it be through a leadership summit, through a Final Four event, uh, through just serving them, not taking from them. We want to pour back into their marriage today, whether it be at a marriage retreat, or maybe providing them with counseling or just encouraging them because today they're serving in a place where 77% of the young men they coach come from one or no parent homes and they've never seen what a true home team ought to look like. And today we're also placing character coaches on campuses all across this country and we're watching men and women do life with coaches. We're watching them do life with student athletes whether it be leading a character moment or doing a Bible study. Well, we've had many players benefit from Nation of Coaches. First of all, with our character coach, we've had scenarios during games where players have asked for prayer during games for the outcome of the game. Uh, from having a character coach and giving the guys a resource to reach out to outside of our regular coaching staff, just for spiritual guidance and for guidance on being the best young man that they could possibly be. And again, there, there are people that that come into your lives, that help you stay on track, not let you veer too far off the path. That's what that's what Nation of Coaches admit to me. And ultimately what we're seeing today is a shift, a change. We're literally watching God take back his game because coaches are understanding today who they're coaching for. They're understanding the platform they've been given. And that is to reach men and to reach women for the master coach to the gym. I want to encourage you, we can't do this alone. We want you to be part of our team. Help us take back this game. Help us reach men, help us reach women through the gym for the master coach. Nations of coaches taking back the game, reaching men for the master coach.